Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to get hidden abilities in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before we get into it, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the guide in general, if you found it helpful, and if you have your own methods with how to get hidden ability Pokemon that you found effective so far in this game. So, hidden abilities are are something that are available on the majority of Pokemon and for the most part they are really useful abilities to obtain because normally they are a little bit better than what you're gonna get generically from just catching a Pokemon in the wild and for the competitive players it does open up a lot of different opportunities to use these Pokemon and utilize them in battle so very important to get but a little tricky because there isn't a really defined way of getting them within Sword and Shield at the minute so there is only one way to obtain them like I say within Max Ray dens and max raid battles so it is a bit difficult and there is a little bit of a grinding process to doing this but you can do it with one wishing piece and that is all you need so as long as you've got one wishing piece you can find a den that that pokemon that you're after is located in and once you do have that den located you can just reset over and over again on that one den until you do find that pokemon with its hidden ability now, i'm going to share some of my own opinions with how i've had a lot of success finding Pokemon with hidden abilities in this guide and I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this because I've had quite a bit of success in my own methods doing this although they are quite similar to a lot of other methods that players do tend to use but I found that there is some success with what I have done in obtaining hidden abilities so far so that was the reason really why I wanted to share these with you in this guide. Now the first thing that we want to do I think the, the example that I'm going to use in this guide is to try and get Zen Mod Darmanitan. So what we really want to be doing is heading up to Hammerlock Hills here and we want to head down to a specific den and to find the dens that you want to catch your Pokemon in there is a, obviously in every single den there is a bunch of different Pokemon so determining what Pokemon are in there it is sometimes pretty hard one of the really good resources that you can use at the minute is Cerebi.net it does list every single den with the Pokemon that you can attain in them and more importantly it does list those Pokemon with being able to find their hidden abilities or not in these specific dens. So we're gonna go to this specific den here, which is hopefully if you follow this guide and you're wanting this specific Pokemon, then you can use this method. So what we're gonna do, as I say, we'll save in front of this den because one of the methods that I've found most successful is having a solid purple beam. Now I know a lot of players will argue that you don't necessarily need the purple beam and this is probably true, but I found a lot more success having a purple beam than not having a purple beam with when obtaining hidden ability Pokemon. So what you want to do is when you found the den, like I say, you can check Cerebi for the exact Pokemon that you're looking for in the den location. You find the den like we are here. We're going for that Zen Mode Darmanitan. You want to save in front of it and then you want to drop a wishing piece in. You want to set your text to slow as well. Remember, this is the, just the date manipulation glitch that we're going to be using here to get this purple beam to start with. So it's like a few step process. So I'm going to save the game here and then we see the the, the beam is not red so we just want to shut the game down and then come back into it and this isn't really too hard because it's not a slow process it's not the quickest process the game loading up does take a little bit longer than probably what we'd all like it to but I mean it's not the slowest process in the world and you maybe want to be taking a couple of minutes to really get that solid purple beam and it'll be interesting here from you guys about if you've had success with the solid purple beams and hidden abilities or just the regular red beams that have been rumored to um, be uh, pressing too quickly there so we'll drop it in and a uh, bit trigger happy there but yeah if you've had a lot of success finding hidden abilities with just the regular beam then I would love to hear from you because I've not really had very much success at all I don't think I found a single hidden ability Pokemon with just the single red beam and they've all been the solid purple beam so I don't know if there's been information out there I've literally scoured reddit all of the different pages across the internet different youtube videos and things like that to have a definitive answer on it and i can't find one so i'm just summarizing my kind of findings here and hopefully if you do use this method you'll have as much success as i have because i have got a bunch of hidden ability pokemon already in the game and it hasn't really been too hard for me to find so as you can see what we're going to be doing now is just resetting the game over and over until we do get that purple beam by dropping that one wishing piece 
into this den. So what I am gonna do, cut the video now and we'll come back when I have found it just to save a little bit of time rather than going through this over and over again. So as you can see, friends, we finally got the purple beam. I haven't been doing it for too long. Maybe this is about the 10th try of resetting. So it's not taking too long. Now we've got the purple beam. That's the first step in this process. Obviously, I'm just talking you through this now. We wanna save in front of the den because the next step is where we use the date manipulation technique. So we want to click into the den. Remember, we are looking for a Galarian Darmanitan here. So we wanna select invite others. And once the timer starts, you hit that home menu. This is a bit more chill out so we're not relying on getting ahead of the save data you want to come down to date and time make sure that the synchronized clock by the internet is off come down to your date and time just knock it forward by one day come back out and into the game again quit out of this screen here so we want to quit out the red den and then we will see the weather change and that means yep we're into a new day we've tricked the game and finally we get it so this is good for the guide so it's taking a little bit a little bit quicker than what I thought would might do. So we do have the Domanitan here, so we wanna check whether it's got its hidden ability or not. Now one of the ways we wanna do this before going into this raid is just to make sure that we do save the game. And the other step that you want to make sure that you are doing is going into your system settings here in the game. So options, and you want to go down to auto saves and make sure that your auto saves are turned off. Um, would you like to save these settings? Yes. So because one of the issues is when you come back into the, the, the wild area from the raid, it will automatically save not allowing you to go back and then go into this Pokemon once you have checked for its hidden ability. So what we want to do is click into the raids. I would recommend inviting others, but for this, we're going to use the NPCs. See how quickly we can get it. It would have been a lot quicker if we invited others to this, but we uh, unfortunately aren't going to be doing that in this one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. The big thing here is though to identify if it is Zen mode. I think Dalmanitan is one of the easier ones to identify especially in a raid battle then maybe some others that have the abilities that don't activate within a battle but once we get Darmanitan down to 50% health it should change its form and that will mean that we are able to tell whether or not it has that hidden ability or not if it doesn't transform at 50% or below then we know we've not got the right one what we can do then is we can reset the game and then start doing the cycle through the max raid again until we get another Darmanitan and then we'll try it again with that one now we will just probably skip ahead a little bit until we get it down to 50% just so we see whether or not it is the hidden ability Darmanitan or not. So as you can see this should take the Darmanitan down to about 50% now. We are using the Max Geyser now. Here is the moment of truth for this specific Pokemon. So this is a good method to use to uh, see if this is the hidden ability Darmanitan or not and uh, it is getting desperate. Is putting the shield up. Is that ability going to activate? It doesn't look like it is going to and no, I don't think this is the hidden ability Darmanitan, unfortunately. So, in a way, this is quite a good example for the guide where we can see that this isn't the hidden ability Darmanitan. So, we are just wasting our time at this point. So, what we want to do is just come out, come to the home menu, close the game, and then we'll go back into it. The purple beam should still be intact, and we should still be able to cycle through doing the date manipulation so what we want to do is change again and get the Dalmanitan back as you can see we're back here yeah we, we know it's not the hidden ability Dalmanitan unfortunately so what we have to do is just go past this one do the date manipulation again we'll invite others go down to date and time go to the date change it forward one day come back out into the game and then quit again and hopefully it doesn't take too long to find another Dalmanitan we'll come back I'll keep cycling through this and as soon as we do find another Dalmanitan Manitan. We'll come back and we'll see if that one is the hidden ability or not. So as you can see, we finally come across another Darmanitan. So what we want to do is again just save the game and um, before we go into this one so we can check whether or not it is going to be that hidden ability Darmanitan or not. It is important to save right here. Make sure that you do have those auto saves turned off as well. So when you come back out the den, you can reset it if it isn't the hidden ability or not. So we're into the match now against this specific Dalmanitan. As you can see, we have got it nearly down to 50%. We're going to be just about there. And Soul Rock actually doing some work for once. Not really something you see too often. It does break the barrier. Will this take it down to 50%? So just above, we're going to have to use one more attack with our Zacian and that should knock it down this next turn. But the uh, Tokol actually coming in handy here as well. Our NPC's putting in some work, taking it down to 50%, and 
we are going to see the shield activate now here we should see the hidden ability activate if it is and we do so this is we know now this is a, probably an easier one to get the grind is pretty hard to get here but we now know that this is the hidden ability Dalmanitan we have the game saved prior to coming into this max raid battle so we know if we do fail to catch it we can reset we know quite confidently that this has the hidden ability that we want so this is a good way to show you how to get the hidden ability of this pokemon and hopefully it doesn't take too long for us to catch this one and i'm so happy because this is a pokemon that i've wanted for a long time and i'm sure it's one that you if you haven't already got it you would like to be able to access and get a hold of within the game so we'll skip forward a little bit we'll get to the catch point here so we are using a dust ball make sure that you are using this ball because it is probably the one that gives you the best catch rate we aren't hosting the raid unfortunately that would be a better way to do it once you do know that it has that hidden ability if you host the raid you're pretty much guaranteed to get the catch but here we are into roll three and we do get it so there we go we've got our hidden ability Dalmanitan and that is great and this is just an example to show you how you can get hidden ability Pokemon within the Sword and Shield titles now I have said that searching for that purple beam does generally give me better odds sometimes it's not always going to work because some Pokemon like I said are only available with solid purple beam but some Pokemon aren't available with that solid purple beam so you have to just go with the regular beam maybe that's a little bit quicker um, and then you just use the data manipulation to get the Pokemon in general but as you can see on your screen right in front of you now that it has got that Zen mode so we have got the hidden ability finally it does take a little bit of time to get there but there is a method to do it to make sure that you're not spending too much resources too many wishing pieces and too much of your time to do it. it's just a case of getting to the right den which you can find in Cerebi the link is down in the description below it will tell you whether that hidden ability is available on that Pokemon in that specific den once you have that Pokemon all you need to do is cycle through with these methods in this guide and you should be able to get that hidden ability Pokemon that you want so hope you've enjoyed the guide my friends this does wrap it up here we'll be back with another guide very soon have a great one thanks for tuning in do drop a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye